So today we will start with sum of n terms of an AP. Now the general form of an AP whose first term is A and the common difference is D is given by A, A plus D, A plus 2D and so on up to the nth term which is given by A plus n minus 1 into D. Now if I want to find out the sum of these n terms, I will use the symbol capital S for the sum of these terms. I will keep on putting a plus sign in between all the terms. So I will get A plus A plus D plus A plus 2D up to A plus N minus 1 into D. Now if I reverse this sequence, I can rewrite this S as the last term I will write first of all A plus N minus 1 into D. Now what is one term prior to this? If I just look at this nth term A plus N minus 1 into D. If I want to write one term prior to this, it will be a plus n minus 2 into d. As you know, when we write an AP, each subsequent term is obtained by adding the common difference to the previous term. Similarly, if you instead of finding the subsequent term, if you want to find the previous term of n, any term, then we subtract the common difference from that term. So from the nth term, if I subtract the common difference d, my term will be a plus n minus 2 into d. So now when I reverse the sequence, I can write it as a plus n minus 1 into d plus a plus n minus 2 into d up to so on and then the last term will be this a. Now if I add, I have named the first one as equation number 1 and the reverse sequence as equation number 2. Now if I add 1 and 2, I will get on the left hand side s plus s which will give me 2s is equal to, now I will start adding the terms a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. If I add these two terms, a is coming two times, so I will get a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. Similarly, if I add the second terms of both the sequences, that is a plus d and a plus n minus 2 into d, I will get this and so on. If I reach the last term, I will get a plus n minus 1 into d plus a. Now, if I start adding here I am getting a plus a I will get 2a plus n minus 1d will remain as it is. Similarly here a plus a will become 2a and then d plus n minus 2 into d. Just look here d plus n minus 2 into d. If I take d common I will be left with 1 plus n minus 2 into d and that gives me n minus 1 into d. So here Again, I will get 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So you can see after adding all the subsequent terms, we are getting 2a plus n minus 1 into d, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Even up to the last term, if you reach, you are getting 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now, how many such expressions are there with us? 2a plus n minus 1d. This was obtained by adding this first and the last term. Then next expression was obtained by adding the second and the second last term and so on. So how many expressions will be there in all? There will be n expressions of this kind. So after adding them up, I can write n times 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So 2s is equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now taking this 2 on to the right hand side, I will get s is equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So this is the sum of n terms of an AP formula. It means if the first term is given to you, the common difference is given to you and the number of terms of the sequence is given to you, you can always find out the sum of those n terms of the given AP. Also, we can rewrite this formula as, now 2a can be written as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. Now if you concentrate on this, I will get a plus, if you look at this expression, a plus n minus 1 into d. If you remember, this is an expression for the nth term, that is a n. So I can also write sum of n terms of an AP is also given by n by 2 into a plus a n. It means instead of, suppose if common difference is not given, but in place of that, the nth term is given even if the common difference is given. But whenever nth term is given, 
and the first term is given we try and use this formula for finding the sum of n terms of an AP and sometimes it is also written as n by 2 into a plus l where l represents the last term of an AP and as you know we always assume the last term as the nth term so both these symbols are basically serve the same purpose sometimes we use it as a plus l sometimes we can also write it as a plus a n so that is the formula for the sum of n terms of a given AP and now let us start with exercise 5.3 of our NCRT book we will go through each question one by one and will solve only those questions which are a little difficult now the first question of exercise 5.3 says find the sum of the following APs now here if you look that the AP is given to you 2, 7, 12 up to 10 terms okay so here let us just write down what all is given to us first term is given common difference is 7 minus 2 which is 5 and up to 10 terms means the number of terms is also given to us now here in this case then nth term is not given I mean the 10th term is not given so we are going to use the first formula that we discussed as n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d now I have everything with me I have n is equal to 10 I have a is equal to 2 and d is equal to 5 and n is equal to 10 if I put all the values here I will get the sum of 10 terms of the given ap exactly in the same way we'll have to do all the parts i will not spend much time on these simple questions because they are the direct application of the formula okay now the second question is find the sum given below it is 7 plus 10 and a half plus 14 plus so on up to 84 now in this question a is given to us that is 7 common difference d 10 and a half will be around 21 upon 2 minus 7 and that gives you 21 minus 14 upon 2 that gives you 7 by 2 now here instead of n 84 what is 84 it is not the number of terms it is one of the terms of the given sequence so we can assume it is nth term so let a n be equal to 84 and now I have to find out the sum but without knowing the number of terms we cannot find out the sum of the given sequence so what we do is we use a n is equal to 84 to find out the number n you know the formula for a n is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 84 if I put a is equal to 7 n I need to find out and d is equal to 7 by 2 is equal to 84 so if I simplify this I will get the value of n from here after getting the value of n I can simply use the formula sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus a n now why I am using a n here because we know a n is 84 a is 7 so it will simplify our calculations if you want you can use the first formula as well n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d but there is no use of using this formula it's better if nth term is given better to use this formula n we have already found out here so put the value of n from there a is given a n is given put all the values and get the value of s n that is the sum of n terms of the given ap in the same way we have to do the remaining parts of question number two now coming over to question number three we see there are many parts in question number three so I'll be solving only the difficult ones I'll just give you the hint of each part in the first part given a is equal to 5 d is equal to 3 a n is equal to 50 these are the given things with us and we have to find n and s n so now remember one thing whenever a n is given to you you should be very sure that n you will be able to find out by using a n is equal to 50 so let's do that because you have to find n also in this case so we know a n is equal to 50 that gives you a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 50 a is 5 n we need to find out and d is 3 is equal to 50 that gives you 
45 and n minus sorry 1 is equal to 15 and that gives you n is equal to 16. Once you have n with you can we find out sn now which formula to use that is very important for you to decide again a is given a n is given so I am going to use the formula a plus a n. Now you can put the value of n as 16 a is 5 a n is 50 when you have everything with you you can always find out the sum of n terms of the AP. In the second part, A is equal to 7, A 13 is equal to 35 and that's it. These are the only two things given to us. We have to find out D and S 13. These are the two things we need to find out. So again, A is given, A 13 is given but D is not given. So let's make use of this expression a13 is equal to 35 first of all you must concentrate on what is given to you so using that given part you can always find out the terms which you need to find out now what is the formula for a13 it is a plus 12 d is equal to 35 a is 7 plus 12 d is equal to 35 then gives you 12 d is equal to 28 so d is equal to 28 upon 12 it is 7 upon 3 it means d has come out to be 7 by 3 now i need to find out s13 so again like when i say sn the formula for sn is n by 2 into a plus a n so if it is s13 what will be your a n it will be a13 only so i will be using this formula a plus a n for finding s13 so S13 is equal to 13 by 2 into A is 7, A n is actually A13 which is 35 and after simplifying this you will get the value of S13. Now the third part of question number 3 is A12 is equal to 37 and D is equal to 3, you have to find A and S 12. So again as I told you what is given that is very important what is given to us d is just 3. So by which ex expression we can make an equation that is a12 which can be written as a plus 11d is equal to 37. Now the value of d is given put the value of d here you will get a plus 11 into 3 which is 33 is equal to 37 so a is equal to 37 minus 33 that gives you a is equal to 4 so we have got a and for finding s 12 i will be using the formula n by 2 into a plus a n why i decided a plus a n because a 12 is given and you have to find s 12 it means the number of terms is 12 so n will be 12 so nth term will be a 12 and hence s 12 is equal to 12 by 2 into a is 4 and a n is 37 so after simplifying this you will get the value of s 12. Now the fourth part is given a 3 is equal to 15 s 10 is equal to 125 and you have to find out d and a 10 these two things we have to find out. So again here we can make the equation with each one of these two a3 is equal to 15 gives me a plus 2d is equal to 15 whereas s10 will give you n by 2 that means 10 by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d 2a plus n minus 1 will be 10 minus 1 which is 9d is equal to 125. Now you can simplify this expression 5 will go on the right hand side will get 2a plus 9d is equal to 25. So I have got two equations. One is a plus 2d is equal to 15. The other is 2a plus 9d is equal to 25. I hope children all of you have studied linear equations and two variables and you know how to simplify these two equations where a and d are the two variables. When you simplify them by any method whether it is elimination or substitution or cross multiplication you can find it out by any method. Find the value of a, find the value of d. So d we needed to find out that we have found from here and a10 for finding a10 you will have the formula 
a plus 9d. Once you get the value of both a and d, you can put it here and you will get the value of a 10. Now coming over to the fifth part, we get, now what is given to us here? Given is d5 and s9 is equal to 75 and we have to find out a and a9. So by using s9, we can create an equation, d is given to us. <coughs> now formula for s9 will be, sorry, 9 by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here n is 9, so n minus 1 will be 8d. And s9 is given to be 75. So 75 is equal to 9 upon 2. And if you want, you can take 2 common from here. If you just take out 2 common from this bracket, then what are we left inside? a plus 4d. Now this 2 and 2 will get cancelled and we are left with 75 upon 9 is equal to a plus 4 into d and d is given to be 5. So using this expression, this is 20, this is 25 by 3 minus 20 is equal to a. So this expression will give you the value of a that we needed to find out. Now a and d, both of them are known to you. So you can always find out a9 which is equal to a plus 8d. Once you know the values of a and d, we can find out a9. Now moving on to the sixth part. Here it is given a is equal to 2, d is equal to 8, sn is equal to 90. Find the values of n and an. Now you will use the formula for sn to find form an equation. sn n is not given so we don't know what is sn. sn is equal to n by 2 into we will use the simplest the first formula of sum of n terms the basic formula. Now sn is given to be 90 is equal to n by 2 into 2a. a is given to be 2 so we will get 4 n minus 1 into d which is 8. Now again what we will do just try to simplify the expression as far as possible. We will get here 4 plus 8n minus 8 which will give you 90 is equal to n by 2 into inside the bracket I will get 8n minus 4 and now I can take 2 sorry 4 common from this bracket I will get this is 2n minus 1 if I take 4 common I will get 2n minus 1 and this will get cancelled. So I will be left with, if I take 2 on the other side, I will get 45 is equal to n into 2n minus 1. And that gives you 45 is equal to 2n square minus n. And hence the quadratic equation formed is 2n square minus n minus 45 is equal to 0. And now after getting this equation, we can solve it by finding the discriminant. Now what is the discriminant? The equation formed was 2n square minus n minus 45 is equal to 0. Now discriminant is b square minus 4 into a into c and that gives you 1 plus 360 and that gives you 361. And hence by using the quadratic formula minus b plus minus under root d upon 2a we can put the values here it will be minus of minus 1 plus minus under root 361 you know what is the square root of 361 that is equal to 19 so i will get here 19 upon 4 n is equal to 1 plus 19 upon 4 or n is equal to 1 minus 19 upon 4 Hence, I will get n is equal to 20 upon 4 which gives me 5 or I will get n is equal to minus 18 upon 4 which is equal to minus 9 by 2. As you know, n represents the number of terms and the number of terms cannot be negative or in fraction. So, we will write rejecting n is equal to minus 9 by 2. We will get the value of n as 5 and then you have to find out a n. What is a n equal to? 
that is a plus n minus 1 into d. Now, what is the value of a here? a is given to be 2 and what is d equal to? Do we have d? Yes, d is equal to 8 given to us. So, n minus 1 into 8 that gives you 2 plus 8n minus 8 and that gives you 8n minus 6. That is the nth term of the given sequence. The next is the seventh part of question number 3 wherein a is given to be 8, a n is given to be 62 and s n is given as 210. We have to find out n and d both. So, let us use the formula of Sn which is equal to n by 2 into which formula here it is advisable to use a plus a n because both a and a n are given to us. Now, n we do not know but Sn we know is 210 is equal to n by 2 into 8 plus 62. These values are given to us. So, 210 is equal to n by 2 into 70 and that gives me 35 after cancellation. So, 210 upon 35 will give you n and that gives you n is equal to 6. Now, if n is equal to 6, now we have to find out d also. Now, we can easily find out a n is given to us that was unused till now. Now, a n is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 62. So, a is 8 n we have found out to be 6, so 6 minus 1, d I have to find out, so 6 plus. So, 8 plus 6 d minus d, sorry, I am so sorry, this can be written as 8 plus 5 d is equal to 62. So, 5 d is equal to 62 minus 8 that gives you 54. 5 d is equal to 54 and d is equal to 54 upon 5. Hence, we have found both a and d sorry n and d that is what we have to find out similarly now i hope you are in a position to do the next part also it is very simple here a n is given to be 4 d is equal to 2 and s n is equal to minus 14 you have to find n and a now whenever s n and a n both are given it is always advisable to first use the formula of s n in the form of a n a plus a n now s n is given to be minus 14 n we have to find out a we have to find out a n is given to be 4 so what will i get that is minus 28 is equal to i'll open out the bracket i'll get a n uh, plus 4 n so leave this equation here if nothing can be done after this now we can use the formula of a n it is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. We have to create two equations out of it. So, a we have to find out, n we do not know, but d we know is 2. So, we will get 4 is equal to a plus 2n minus 2. That gives you 6 is equal to a plus 2n and 6 minus 2n is equal to a. Now, I have the value of a which I can put in equation number 1 that is equal to one minute now equation number one was minus 28 is equal to minus 28 is equal to a n plus 4 n a n plus 4 n and we got the value of a as 6 minus 2 n let's put this value of a in this equation Number 1, we will get minus 28 is equal to 6 minus 2n into n plus 4n. Minus 28 is equal to 6n minus 2n square plus 4n. And that makes it, now if I arrange it properly, we will get 2n square minus 10n minus 28 is equal to 0. Now I will take 2 common, n square minus 5n minus 14 is equal to 0. If I split the middle term, I will get 7n plus 2n minus 14 equal to 0, n into n minus 7. I am just factorizing the given polynomial instead of using the quadratic formula. I am using the splitting the middle term method. 
so from here you will get two values of n one is n is equal to minus 2 the other is n is equal to 7 but because number of terms cannot be negative so rejecting this value we get n is equal to 7 now we know a is equal to 6 minus 2n put the value of n here so that gives me 6 minus 14 which is equal to minus 8 and that is what we had to find out in question number 8 after this moving on to question number 9th the ninth part in fact not the question number 9th here a is equal to 3 n is equal to 8 and s is equal to 192 we have to find d so s is means sn is given sn is equal to 192 now the formula for sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d in this case a n is not given so i am using this formula so 192 is equal to 8 upon 2 into 2 into 3 plus n is 8 so 8 minus 1 and d we have to find out if i take 4 onto the other side i will get this divided by 4 is equal to 6 plus 8 d minus d and 4 4 is a 16 4 is a 32 48 is equal to 6 plus 7 d so 48 minus 6 is equal to 70 that gives you 42 is equal to 70 and hence d is equal to 6 and we had to find out only d that we have found out now the last part that is the 10th part of question number 3 which says given l is equal to 28 s is equal to 144 and there are total 9 terms that means n is given to be 9 and you have to find out the first term l means the last term or i can also use it as a n so can i use the formula sn is equal to n by 2 into a plus a n just the way of giving the expression was different it's in place of a n they have written it as l so s n basically here n is 9 so s 9 is equal to 9 by 2 a we have to find out and a n is given to be 28 sn is also given to us that is 144 is equal to 9 by 2 so i'll just take it on this side 2 by 9 is equal to a plus 28 so 9 ones are 9 and so 6 16 16 9 is 144 16 into 2 is 32 32 minus 28 that gives you 4 a is equal to 4 so this was all about question number 3 I hope you can now complete all the parts of question number 3 very easily.